Since we didn't find anything in the Hartford investigation, what exactly did happen? Were there any experiences? Yeah, well, uh, when we, the reason why she first called us is because her daughter was saying that she was seeing stuff, hearing stuff in the room. Um, Nana, yeah. come here. I think it was in here earlier. She said she saw something. She, I turned off the light and I turned it back on and she was like her eyes got Where did you see that earlier? Is that shadow downstairs in here? Here. Now, do you feel like whatever's here is, uh, is it angry or, I mean, do you feel scared or? Kind of. It's very cold, I think. It's the coldest Has it always been like that? No. No, no. It's weird because it's like really hot in the house and like your daughter says it's really cold in her room, which is kind of weird too, you know what I'm saying, because usually the heat rises, mm -hmm. so if it's hot here. How hot is it? Hot in your bedroom? Yes, it is. I was just sweating at once. Eighty degrees. The thermostat is at eighty right now. It's on the seventy. But it's real hot in my room. So her room would be in the kitchen here, right? Yeah. And this is where I was telling you before I was braiding somebody's hair and I heard footsteps. And her room is right up here. Did you hear them as loud as we're hearing her right now? Yeah. Like there was and somebody there was nobody here but me. At that time, my daughter was at my mother's house. And you could hear them right above? Mm-hmm. You could hear somebody walking, and then you could hear it coming down the stairs. And then when I jumped up and I came over here to put my ear on the wall to see if it was the neighbors, mm -hmm. I didn't hear anything there, and then it just stopped. Do you hear that when she's home? When, if she's in the room, yeah. Not if she's not in there. Okay. But that day, she wasn't here. Yeah. There was nobody here but me and my, a friend of mine I was braiding the stairs. And you can hear somebody walking. Does it sound like her or louder? Louder. So it's definitely somebody bigger. Mm-hmm. Like a male. The picture she sent us, you can clearly see, I sent it to you. Right. I know you weren't able to make it, but um, you can clearly see a guy mm -hmm. standing right, right, behind, right behind her. Yeah. First thing I did was I recreated the situation. Um, I had her daughter stand in the mirror. I took five, six pictures. And I don't know if you guys saw the picture that I sent you. Yes. If you guys think yeah. that's anything, I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, but um, that's the only thing that we really caught evidence-wise, you know, on film. The focus point's going to be in here. Yeah. This VVP's in here, definitely. Um, so we can set the DVR up. Going down this hallway? Well, I like to put one in here. Right. The camera right. in here. I like to put one going either down the stairs or up the stairs. Right, definitely. Because nothing really happens downstairs, he said. Yeah. And then one coming down the hallway. What's back over here? Her being a Spanish, Spanish descent, we came up with asking her if someone did a Santeria. Mm -hmm. And TJ could explain that more, I think, in the yeah. detail. What Basically, that is. it's like, and we found out that she believed someone put a curse on her. Mm -hmm. She found a broken egg in front of the house. And that's pretty much a sign of, of, of a voodoo curse for the most part. And she found out through a neighbor that they actually did put a curse on her. The lady on the first floor lived in a fam, uh, three, four, it was four floors on the building. The lady downstairs, she used to mess with all that voodoo and all that crap. And she didn't like us very well, very much so. Hmm. And there we saw a lot of stuff. Even the kids, me, um, my ex's daughter that I raised for seven years, she used to wake up out of her sleep just screaming and her, since little, they were both waking up, scared to death because they would see stuff. Shadows and things. Was she into uh, Santeria? I, I think so. La Brujeria? Mm-hmm. De Puerto Rico? I don't, I don't think so, yeah. Yeah. Because okay. at one point, somebody said they prepared an egg or something. They threw an egg and yeah. like two weeks later, I got into a car accident and told them my car. So they, they, put, so uh, they put like I a... I think they did. You, you suspect that, that's why I kind of went that route tonight. Well, it could be something else too. It could be completely something different, non-related. But because of the possibility, definitely take that extra measure. I, I have an ex-boyfriend that, um, his girlfriend messes with that stuff and he broke up with her. She hit him and uh, he had to get out the house, so he came here for two days. And he stayed on a couch, and I think it was around that time that this started. There you go, about two months ago? I, I'm just thinking about it now. There's a trigger point right there. TJ was pretty aggressive. 
uh, on calling out some stuff, and you had a couple personal experiences. Yeah, it was, it was bizarre. It was, I was sitting there doing some EVPs, calling this thing out. You know, it was pretty much sort of an aggressive call out because we all determined that this thing was targeting the child. So you know, we all have children, so we, we kind of took a little personal. So we did some some strong aggressive um, sessions. If you are here, and if you allowed yourself to be used in Brujeria, then you're a coward. You're a coward, soulless. And you're preying on these innocent people here, scaring them, walking, making yourself known through the methods of shadow. Shadow play, trying to manifest in photos. If your intention is to scare, then you are a cowardly bastard. I can't think of no other thing but to call you a coward. Plain and simple. I dare you to present yourself. Because you begin to piss me off. The thought of you hiding in the fucking shadows here, like a fucking coward, you're going after little babies. Now you're pissing me off. Now I'm taking the personal. Come on, you. Come on. Say something. Come on out. I'm right here. You were standing there, from what I remember, in the floor. And I'm sitting there all of a sudden, and I, and I start to go a little numb. And my leg sort of starts to lift up on its own. Like, you know, when, you, when your leg falls asleep, and all of a sudden it starts to move on its own. It was bizarre. At, at, at the very least, it was, it was bizarre. Um, I re, uh, reviewed it, uh, the audio sessions, nothing came up there. Mm -hmm. But the personal experiences that we had, it was, it was crazy. You could cut the air with a knife. It was so thick in there. It was so, so claustrophobic in that one little space. I'm just trying to decipher what, what is what, you know? My personal bias or something happened? Because the, the idea that some can actually uh, cast a spell on this family, that's just for me to, to, to no end. Um, it happens a lot in the Spanish community. And uh, so I'm trying to figure out, is, is this a cultural bias or is this actually really happening? Even just the idea that somebody could actually do this. Because she found a broken egg, and that's obviously a sign of someone put a curse on you. It's, it's a form of Santeria. And if they caught something in the picture, then everything connects to that. So we're looking at coward, evil, mindless. That doesn't, want, doesn't hurt them, right? No. It doesn't hurt them, but it scares the shit out of them. Yeah, well, she says she feels afraid. And that, that's worse, man. That's, that's worse. That's, that's, uh, yeah. You can't live in fear like that. Is it hot? It appears it is downstairs or cool in here? It's cool in here. Yeah, because I got chills, dude, going down my legs. I really do. Oh, yeah. I'm fucking freezing, too. All right, well, here's... You want some holy water, bro, or you want to do it? I do do it. Oh, God. Let me put some... Bible open in here. Right? Yeah, oh well, yeah. Yep. Yeah. First thing's gonna have to have a Bible open and it's gotta be scared or something. Yeah, no doubt. And the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. How's that feel? Does that make you angry that there's holy water in here? That's stronger than you? This is in Psalm 68. Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered. Let those also who hate him flee before him. Yeah, she's been reading some pretty serious stuff here. You know why I think this is real? This is like coming home for me. Yeah. I've dealt with this shit before in Puerto Rico and Nomura and Hartford. And it's got the same nasty. Vile feeling, cowards. I feel something in like you know, like tight in here. 
Yeah, man, this is claustrophobic, man. This, this is oppression, man. This is spiritual oppression, bro. So Andre and TJ decided to go in the basement. I stayed back in the room, did some camera work in there. And, you know, in the 20 plus years, you know how I am. Right. I'm not very skittish. Mm -hmm. um, they were downstairs, and I heard with my own ears something talking backwards. I know it's hard to explain, but, and you know, yeah. and yeah. Andre knows how I called out. Yeah. And my ear was still standing up when they came. I know I heard it with my own ears. Mm -hmm. It sounded like something demonic speaking backwards. Male voice? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Like you want like you wanting to take backwards? Right. Yeah. 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 yeah it, was, it was freaky. So, you know, we were well, hoping. He was, shook. He was scared. Oh, yeah. No, definitely. <laughs> no freaked out. <laughs> it was crazy, um, and I was hoping that either the camera in the bedroom that we set up and pick it up, yeah. or the one in the hallway. And when I reviewed it, nothing. Damn, really? You like, like, felt distorted. Yeah, that's exactly what I heard of. But it sounded like it was playing backwards. If, if you, you remember the Pink Floyd? Yeah. Okay, you know the song, um, it's off the wall. Yeah, if you play it backwards, it's kill. It, no, no, there's another one that says, congratulations, you have just discovered the secret message, send your answer, care of uh, your shark, England. It's a real message, but if you hear it, it's like, rah, 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 rah. It sounds kind of demonic. Back, it's like killing me. How long did you hear? It was like maybe two seconds, two, three seconds tops. Man, I hope we caught it, dude. If I heard it with my ears, it had to, it had to have caught something. This camera between these two, yeah, my back is killing me, dude. Right. You know, definitely, there's definitely something that doesn't feel right up there. And for me, I've been doing this for a long time. Last time, yeah. I never call anybody to come in the room. And we did a civil war hospital where we got light bulbs thrown at us. I mean, that does not bother me. But something bothered me up there tonight. And I don't get I don't get like that. I really don't. So TJ, I guess, is in the works now, making some phone calls. Yeah. Trying to get her some help. Mm. Gonna call her the island. <clears throat> but besides that, I mean there's something definitely in there. Does she want does she want us to come back for a follow-up? Yeah, I was gonna say I wouldn't mind going back for a follow-up. Yeah, I mean, we definitely can do that. I mean, um, I can contact her, see if anything's happened since we left. Mm -hmm. You know, using the holy water. Like, again, you know, I know when I was 16, I wouldn't have a Bible on my dress. Right, right. That opened age. up the right. pages of where yeah. she was reading. Yeah, was yeah your you latest know. teen magazine. Instead. Right, and yeah. she still will not sleep in her bedroom. You can understand if she was 7 or 8, the freaking right. dark, right. you know. But so 16, where does she sleep now? Where her mom. The general sense, too, was that this thing was probably intimidated by us, right? I think so. Yeah. You know, two women living in the house, you know, I think with the three guys in there, it was intimidated. And that's why, you know, we felt the way we did. You know, it made it known that it was there. Does she ever speak or call out to no. what she think is there? Okay. No, she's but she's, she's definitely, yeah, she's definitely afraid. Um, not a, she was not a believer before this. Now, when she saw that picture from her daughter, yeah. she had like a... <laughs> Panic attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So coupled with the sounds and the footsteps going across. Right. Yeah. She's uh, the mother's never seen anything shadow wise, but after seeing the picture, she believes her daughter now hearing the footsteps. It all goes yeah. together. Yeah. Right. It all ties together. So. Well, I think the next thing would be to contact them and kind of do a follow up, even if it's not a full investigation, just to get with them to have some sort of conference to see if there's anything else that they could tell us about the home, if there was any. Um, any prior uh, tenants there that had any issues as well? Maybe we can dig something up regarding their old right. And I did as well. I did tell her before we left to keep a notepad mm -hmm. and document dates, times yeah, to see idea. if it's a residual, something that's residual, something that doesn't realize they're there, mm -hmm. or um, you know, because it doesn't seem like it's. Well, I mean, I really can't say that it's not intelligent because it did make it, it made itself known in the there, mirror, right, right in, the, in the picture. So and the voices that I heard, right. So if that's the same entity, right. I mean, that's another thing that we don't know. It could be it could multiple. be more than one, right? If you're dealing with Buddha or something, yeah, you're talking about multiple spirits. Well, if you're talking yeah. curses and things like exactly. that, you know, exactly. that's a whole different right. realm. So right, and that's why I told her. I said, you know, our expertise in the paranormal. I mean, what, we're not going to leave her high and dry. We will get her help that she needs, mm -hmm. and hopefully rectify the situation. So, especially with kids are involved, they see that. Yeah, I know. First priorities. So, that's 
about that. It's not like the TV where they go and they catch something every time. It's not mm -hmm. like that at all. Even though there might be something here, we might not have anything on video or tape or pictures. But it could be another time we come, you'll get something.